What's going on guys, Steve with the video for you today. Today is going to be another one of my binder videos. This is going to be a retired, retired stars binder. So this is going to be, uh, most of them are going to be from the 90s and late 80s, maybe into the early 2000s when they're starting to end their career. But anyways, let's get into the cards here. Here we got, we got Brady Anderson. Absolutely loved collecting Brady Anderson when I was a kid. Loved that 93 upper deck where he's up on the wall in that 93 studio really cool looking cards there there's more brady anderson like that gold card there i think that's like a boss something i don't really know too much about that all that whole thing but once in a while i'll find them in the card shop and look them up on ebay they're not too expensive but if I see them for like a buck or whatever, or even less, I'm going to snag it up. Some of them are just in the commons boxes, too. You have a Hal Morris like that that's just really neat looking. I'll eventually show it. No one cares about Hal Morris, I think, but it's always fun to enjoy those kind of cards that have that cool look. Still on Brady Anderson. Here we're ending, ending with Brady Anderson. Going on to Lou Whitaker, who actually, he did not get voted in through the modern day... Uh, committee this past year i think i think one day he'll get in because you know you're, they're starting to let guys like harold baines in i think that opens up the floodgates to you know johnny damon lou whitaker guys that are really really close borderline maybe dale murphy one day but they're not in quite yet there's a uh, finest up there like that all-star look at his you know i remember most of lou whitaker when i was younger but I didn't really follow him too much. Remember him and Alan Trammell for the Tigers. Didn't really follow Trammell too much either. Just I don't. I like the Tigers. I just never like that's uh, ninety score down there. Just a cool, cool uh, action shot of him swinging the bat. I've, I never disliked the Tigers. Just never really got into a whole lot of their cards. Now we got Vinny Castilla. I remember Vinny Castilla mostly. Um, in my youth, we'd go to a lot of Chicago Cubs or Colorado Rockies games. I had family out in Denver. So once a year, you know, I live in Nebraska. You just drive across Nebraska and a little bit into Colorado, and you're in Denver. So we'd always enjoy going to a couple Colorado games a year for the Rockies. Driving through the mountains, just fun times, especially when your whole life you've been around cornfields. There's the, there's the Fleur Metal. I think he was also, you know, he's part of that Hall of Very Good. A lot of these guys are. Now we're on to Jeff Kent. I think Jeff Kent, he gets really overlooked for a second baseman. I honestly think he's going to be in the Hall one day. It might it may take a while, but I honestly see him getting in there. Remember him with the uh, San, Francisco, San Francisco Giants mostly. His... Uh, his score traded rookie cards pretty cool. Here we got Lenny Dykstra, part of the, the 90s bad boys of the Philadelphia Phillies. So big shout out to Reese Endy Card Ranger. He's a huge Philadelphia Phillies fan. I think he's one of the probably the only Phillies guys I think that follows me. And you know, so big shout out to Reese Endy Card Ranger. Go find him if you haven't. He shouldn't, he's always commenting in my videos, so click on him. Sub to him, he's a, he supports quite a bit of channels. Like that sport flicks up there with the baseball. The 87 tops in the New York Mets, that's just a really cool card to me. Again guys, binders just a, just a simple way to enjoy the basic and fun cards in your collection. So they're not sitting in boxes you know the boxes collecting dust for 10 years and you're like oh yeah that card here we got darren dalton again part of that philadelphia phillies 90s team As for some reason i've always liked that 89 donruss and the 89 tops just two cool looking cards and darren dalton actually passed away a couple years ago due to cancer but very solid player throughout his days in philadelphia and there's actually, let's go back to that. There was a Miami, I forgot he played for the Miami Marlins or Florida Marlins. 
I think he had a year or two there, didn't he? Towards the end of his career. Like that finest of his. Now we're on to Sean Dunstan. Big Cub fan favorite back in the early 90s. There's his rookie card up there. I've got two of those, so I just decided to put one in the binder. Like that 90 Fleer too. Just again, guys, way to enjoy those those nice looking cards like that, that of your favorite players. Here we're on to Jeff Conine, another one of my favorite guys to collect during my youth. And yeah, this actually, this uh, Jeff Conine page has a ton of nice cards like that Diamond Kings, the Fleer Metal, that Row of Finest, the Rookie Gold Cup down there, the Stadium Club, and the 93 Studio. He's actually got a, that retail predictor is kind of neat too. I like the blue uniforms they had. It's a nice page of Conine. Like that upper deck one there. Uh, I like him uh, in the Miami Marlins uniform, but I remember him with the Kansas City Royals as well. I used to, I live in, lived in Omaha in my youth, and we used to go to the Omaha Royals games quite a bit, which was the AAA affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. Now they're called the Omaha Storm Chasers. But uh, yeah, I remember seeing Jeff Conine when I was younger. Back in his prospect days like that stadium club one. Here we're on to Scott Rowland. Again, should be a soon should be a Hall of Famer, I think, in the future. It might take a couple of years. I like that one right there. These are all kind of like that cover glory. These are like mid-90s cards that are kind of forgotten about. Spent most of his career with the Philadelphia Phillies. This is kind of a Phillies heavy binder, isn't it? I didn't realize that. Like that ovation there. I think I have quite a bit of Scott Rowland actually, because when I go to the card shop and I look through like the Phillies boxes, I'd find a lot of Scott Rowland. But my card shop has uh, boxes kind of organized by teams. There's a rookie cup right there. So you know, there's a you can. Sometimes there's just a big old uh, stack of... I think one time I found a Hyundai Onomos. About like 30 plus cards of Hyundai Onomo. You know, he gives them to you next to nothing, which is nice. I like that collector's choice right there. The Crash of the Game. The Big Show, Jim Edmonds. The Fleur Metal. This is a nice page of Edmonds as well. He spent most of his career with the Angels, but I think towards the end of his career he kind of wound down with the St. Louis Cardinals. Him and Pujols kind of made a dangerous duo, thanks to uh, James Elite Hunters pointed that out to us. There's Edmund still. Yeah, there he is in his St. Louis. Need to speed up through through this, guys. Now we're at uh, Joe Carter. Big Toronto. Big fan up there in Toronto. Now we're at Rusty Greer. Really like that. Fleur Metal Rusty Greer and that's cool in there with his wearing two hats like that. And that true grid up there, but I should end this here pretty quick, guys. Seems like my binder videos are always about eight minutes. That American flag one. We'll end it with, yeah, we'll do Andy Van Slyke, and then we're going to call it quits. So here's Andy Van Slyke. He was just really fast, and another one of my fa favorite players to collect. There's the Don Donner's Diamond Kings. And we'll end it with Andy Van Slyke. So thanks, guys, for watching, and stay safe out there. Appreciate it.